Brahma. Brahma means it's not really real, but appears to be real. How long the appearance is there, as long as I don't see the truth behind it. And I, a Brahma means it is a false knowledge. False knowledge will have a substantive adhara of the truth, but I am not seeing the truth as a truth. The world I am not seeing the Brahman as a Brahman. I am seeing the varieties of divisions of Sajata Vijati Swagata Vedas. So in and through Sogata Vedas, I have to see what is the substantive, what is the substance which is behind it. That should be true. The Yagat means changing. So the changing things will not, will have a changeless entity as its Adhara. So here, that's what being emphasized here. And how do I know that Adhara? That for that only Pramana is required. In the previous slokas, he said, I need a proper means of knowledge to know it is the, what I see is Brahma and what the truth behind is Brahma. And this is not something that I can see because it is Brahman, infinite cannot be seen. Therefore, only Pramana for this is scriptures. So here he says, Jagrat Brahmasya Sarvasya. So, the whole world, Jagrat, is Brahma, is the illusionary, illusionary appearance, Sarvasya, everything. 
and adhisthanam iritam. So there, if it is a jag, if it is a prapancha, the jagrat means that in the waking state, and the whole world that I am seeing in the waking state is only an illusory appearance. And for every illusory appearance, there has to be substantive, that is the truth. And that is being declared by the scripture. Trayanteshu tadatrasyat brahma shabda vachitam. So, trayi anteshu, trayi means the, the Upanishads, anteshu. So, trayi anteshu, anteshu vedanteshu in the Vedanta. Tad atrasyat. In that, that atra, in that what has been declared by either Tattvamasi, I am Atma Bhamma, and from the, the pure existent consciousness alone, or in Bhagavad Gita, it says, Yomam Pasyati Sarvatra, Sarvanja Mai Pasyati. So, this who sees me everywhere and everything in me. So, there is nothing other than Him in principle, and therefore, whatever things that are rising in him. So, maya tatam idam sarvam jagad avyakta murtina mastani sarva bhutani. All beings are in me, but at the same time, if you do proper pramana, says naja mastani bhutani. There are no beings in me. So, both are essentially statements that comes from trayanteshu. So, in the, the three anteshu, in the vedanteshu, tadatrasyat, the the Tattva Masi statements, etc., Mahavakyas, where Brahma Shabda Vivachitam, the, the meaning of the Brahman or the nature of the word Brahman is being completely explained. So here, this is, I am the Kutastha Chaitanya, that is the substratum for myself, and the world is substratum for the Brahman. And Kotasa Chaitanya is not different from Brahman. And therefore, there is only one, and that's what is going to be, is deduced in the, in the verses here. Let's chant 50. Yetasmin neva chaitanye, yetasmin neva chaitanye, jagadaropyate yatha, jagadaropyate yatha, Tada tade kade sasya, tada tade kade sasya, jiva bhavasya ka katha, jiva bhavasya ka katha. Together, yetasmin eva chaitan ye, jagada, jagada ropiate yada, tada tade kade has de sasya, jiva bhavasya ka katha. So yetasmin eva chaitan ye, jagada ropiate yada. So, etasmin eva. So, in this only, Chaitanya Brahma Chaitanya is yada when Jagrat Jagat Aropyate. It is the Aropya means the Adhara for the whole universe. So, it is a substantive and Jagat is superimposed on that. That's why the, in the Mundaka Upanishad also it says Nama and Rupa is the world. Jagat is nothing but their name and form and that's been deduced also in the Chandogya as the Vacharam Banam Bikaro Nama Deyam says Vak Arambanam, Vak Aram speech. The speech is essentially involves Nama. Nama means name and Rupa means attribute. So what is the world? World is nothing but name and form. Form means attributes and there is no substantive that we can say substantive is nothing but Brahman only. That's called Adharam. So therefore Brahman cannot be perceived. What is perceived only? Attributes by the senses. Senses can only see attributes. And therefore world is nothing but attributive knowledge. Is there no substantive? Substantive is only there at the transactional level, but from the point of the reality, reality is only Brahman, which cannot be transacted. So, perceptibility, the experienceability, perceptibility, transactability, all belongs to only Nama and Rupa, and, far, and not to the substantive, which is Brahman, cannot be either perceived or experienced or the transactable because it's not a finite, it is infinite. 
tada tadeka desasya jiva bhavasya ka katha so if if brahman pur consciousness can support the whole world tada then tadeka desa de, dehasya so what's the big deal in supporting the local equipments by kutastha chaitanya kutastha chaitanya is not different from the total consciousness because total consciousness cannot be divided because it's infinite infinite cannot have parts so so it is there is no the nishkalam there is no parts in that it is being infinite that's why they call sajati vijati swagata vedas as per the vedanta so tada tadek des dehas de desasya jiva bhavasya ka katha so to arise for a local consciousness that can illumine the the local equipment what's big deal because it can support the whole universe then what's a big deal about supporting the local body mind and intellect and reflection on that so it's a rhetorical question here so pure consciousness as though supporting the whole universe and kutastha chaitanya is supporting the local equipments and kutastha chaitanya is not different from the pure consciousness all that is being to be equated upon so now we'll go to 51 jagat tadek desakhya jagat tadek desakhya samaropyasya bhedatah समारोप्यस्य वेदतः तत्वं पदार्थै भिन्नेस्तु तत्वं पदार्थै भिन्न भिन्न भिन्नायस्तु वस्तु तत्वे तत्वे कदाचिते वस्तुतः तत् वस्तुतः टोटल वर्ल्ड now that is different from the total universe and vastutah really the in reality chitte he ekata there is only one consciousness and appears to be bedatah appears to be different so there is only pure consciousness all pervading and the, and the, that part of consciousness that is supporting the whole universe we call it as jagat and that part of the usual we call it as jiva bhava and in principle we call it as consciousness consciousness in consciousness is not because from which the universe came by which it sustained into which it goes back so that also is is the chaitanyam and chaitanyam cannot be divided as this one part of chaitanyam and another part of chaitanyam so the total consciousness is limitless and that's what is being so ekata ekatva ekata oneness has to be recognized because i am the same consciousness that is supporting and that's what essentially tattva masi statement is so the meaning of the, of the word tat and tvam are being explained here this is only due to conditionings of the body local body and the conditioning of the world so tat is that world 
form is the you, the individual, and from the point of the, the consciousness that supports the whole thing, there is only one. That's why, Aigitadatmya Midagam Sarvam Tat Satyam. So this whole universe is supported by that Sat that we've been talking about. So Tat, that, that stands for what was being discussed in the Chandogya 6th chapter. That's how it started. And Tat is that Sat that was mentioned before because Sadeva Saumya Idamagramasi. Existence alone was there before, and tat refers to that existence which is supporting. Therefore, aitadatma vidagum sarvam tat satyam and sama sahatma, and that is the atma, and that is tattvamasi. You are that. So tat and form are being equated as a, as though two, but from the point of pure consciousness that is pervading, there is only one. Only difference is due to the superimposed names and forms because those superimposed names and forms are only for transactional world. Just as ring is different from a bangle, bangle is different from a necklace, that's for transactions. But in and through ring, bangle and necklace, what is per the pervading all the three is that which is unchanging is, is the goal. From goal point it is ekata, that means oneness. From the point of Nama Rupa, names and forms, there are different varieties and they are different at the transactional level because the ring use is different from a bangle use is different. So utility, experienceability, transactability, all abilities are at the level of ring and a bangle, name and a form only. The substantive is the same. In the same way, Tattvamasi, you are that because that Aitadatma Vidagum Sarvam Tat Satyam. What is that bottom line? Is that which is Sat only. And that Atma, that is the essence Atma means, that is pure consciousness also. And Tat Tamasi, you are that, is how the equation has been developed. And therefore, the equation says that's what the truth. So Vedanta Pramana established Tat and form as one in essence. Even though superficial differences are due to attributes, um, the adhyasa, superimposition differences are there. So I want to give more explanations of that. Katrutvadim buddhi dharman. Katrutvadim buddhi dharman. Spurtyakhyancha atmarupatam. Spurtyakhyancha atmarupatam. Dadat vibhati purutaha, dadat vibhati purutaha, purutaha, abhaso to brahmi bhavit, abhaso, abhaso to brahmi, brahmo bhavit. Look at that. Katrutvadim buddhi dharman, sporantya khyamcha atmarupatam, dadit vibhati purutaha, dadit vibhati purutaha. Abhaso to Brahmo Bhavit. So Katrutvadin Buddhi Dharman. So here the superposition of something other than itself being superimposed in the Kutastha Chaitanyam, something other than being superimposed on the Brahman outside Brahma Chaitanyam, and therefore the superimpositions are different, but essence is the same. That's what is the the statement here, Katrutvadin Buddhi Dharman. So the properties of the intellect that involves the Katrutva Bhavam. I am a doer, I am a reader, I am a knower, all that knower, all the the activities at the buddhi level is the our properties of the buddhi are being Katrutvam, Bhoktrutvam, etc. are being superimposed on top of the of the Kotasta Chaitanyam. Kartutvadin, buddhi dharman and the, the qualities of the buddhi are spurti abhyam. So the illumination nature is atma rupatam. So the uh, is the nature of the atma rupa. So chidabhasa is getting some properties from the consciousness, some properties from the from the buddhi and that's how it's chow chow. One is the truth, another is the false. So, Chidabhasa um, yeah, has two aspects. That's why when I say I am, and then we say this. There's a two aspects, that's what Ahankara is. I am this, I am this. 
So in that I am this ahankara ego, there are two components. One is I am part and this part. I am part is coming from the Atma Swarupam. And uh, that's what essentially Atma Rupatam. So I take the part of it from the Atma and part of it from the body, from the Dharma of the Buddhi and come a mixture of these two. It's called unholy mixture. Unholy mixture because the one is the higher order of reality, Pavitram. Another is uh, impurity that is Apavitram. And together we are combining when I say I am this. So very statement I am this shows that I am mixing two different things. One is of the higher order reality and another is the lower order, order reality. When I say this is a golden ring, I am mixing gold and a ring. And the gold became an adjective for the ring. Gold is actually not an adjective but an a substantive because it is from the gold by which it came and it is the adhara, supportive for the ring. So, they, I am mi mixing these two called, this is called Adhyasa. So, Shankara writes in the introduction to Brahma Sutra, the Adhyasa Bhashya, where he says, Vishnu Rashmatratya Bhutarayoho Vishaya Vishayinoho Tama Prakashavatru Viruddha Svavavayoho. So, completely opposite things are getting mixed up here. One is pure consciousness, another inert things are getting mixed. And that's what is here. I am borrowing something from consciousness, I am borrowing from something from Adhara and this mixture is called Siddha Bhasa. So, Dadat Vibhati. So, Dadati is essentially, it, it, is gain, it is accepting something of the Buddhi of Siddha Bhasa also. Buddhi Dharma. So, Parataha. So, the, the, uh, essentially, so, distinctly Vibhati shines Ataha, Abhasaha, Jiva. Brahmaha Bhaved. So, Abhasa, Abhasaha, Atao, Brahmo Bhaved. So, this illusory nature of the Chidabhasa is shining as though, uh, say, Abhasa, by borrowing some of this and some of that. So, Anyonya Adhyasa, that means superimposition of both of these ones, some from the inner, some from the consciousness, and coming. It's also a mixture and that's what is a life, that's what is a jiva is. Jiva notion is, I am a jiva, instead of I am pure consciousness existence. Now, look at 53. Ka buddhi koya ma bhasaha, ka buddhi koya ma bhasaha, Kovat matra jagat katham, kovat matra jagat katham, itcha nirnayato mohaha, itcha nirnayato mohaha, soyam samsara ishyate, soyam samsara ishyate, ka buddhi ka koya mabhasaha, kovat matra jagat katham, itcha nirnayato mohaha, Soyam samsara ishyati. So, buddhi hi kaha. What is the intellect? What is buddhi? So, what is intellect? Intelligence. I am abhasaha kaha. What is the nature of this chidabhasa? Va and atma kaha. What is the self? And jagat katham. How is the world that is being created? And iti, these questions, anirnayata. One cannot come up with without discriminating these properly. So what is the buddhi, what is chidabhasa, what is the jagat, without questioning all this, that is aranyayata, without inquiring into the nature of these, we are transacting in the world. So who is interested in knowing what is buddhi, who is, what is the intellect, what is the reflected consciousness, what is the, the world, everybody wants to live and everyone wants to keep on experiencing this, this, this and that's what the whole experience life is. Without the life, these are things, without all, what life can be. All these questions is because of not really understanding or not inquiring. It is not inquiring into the nature of that and that is due to mohaha, delusion. Because of delusion, I take the illusion as real and I want to transact in the world and that thing that is all the life is. And that's why the whole problem comes because of 
the delusion. Delusion is due to not knowing it. Ignorance makes the illusion into a delusion. And that's what is mohaha. Nashto moha svutil labdha. So it's in the end of all Bhagavad Gita, because I, the, my delusion is gone. That's what Arjuna says. Nashto moha svutil labdha tatrasade namayatsuta. Because of your grace, now I have no more delusion. I know what needs to be done, what is truth, and so on and so forth. That comes only because of vichara, without having vichara. This comes in the end of 18 chapters. So, whole 18 chapters are discussion between the Krishna and Arjuna. And that much of discussion is required to find out, to inquire what is the nature of who am I, what is this world, and what is this, the relation between me and all. That. And that's what Nirnayato Mohaha. Soyam Samsara Ishate. That is the cause for samsara. So, what is the cause for samsara? Is summarizing non inquiry into the nature of the world and into your own self. That is the basis for samsara. So, when I don't inquire, why do I don't inquire? I don't even have a doubt about it. I am searching. So, if you look at the life of many people, that's all the whole, they want to spend time. And that's what whole thing and they think that is whole life and other people sending out you are spending too much time on this and that, so on and so forth. But that's all they think is importance in the life itself. So therefore, you hear the Jaranya summarizes this is the essentially due to delusion, taking that world would world is real and transactions are real and that has to be done at the expense of everything else. And that becomes a samsa. Life after life and what good is this life also we have to continue the same thing this statement here by this by jaranya here so the problem is the basic fundamental problem is aninayata that means not inquiring into that in order to do the inquiry you need a viveka vairagya samadhi shat sampatti and desire to inquire mumukshutvam and all those qualifications are required to inquire into it so inquire what is the nature of this object and if I want to inquire what is the fundamental nature, first I have to go through the training of the preparation, mind has to be prepared to capable to inquire into it. Without the capability of inquiring, what do you do? Nothing will happen. And that's what is the, the preparation of the mind or chitta suddhi is required. 54. Buddhya dinam swarupam yaha. Buddhya dinam swarupam yaha. Vivinakti satatva vitu. Vivinakti satatva vitu. Soya meva mukta itchevam. Soya meva mukta itchevam. Vedante shu vinischayaha. Vedante shu vinischayaha. So, what is that has to be done? So, inquire into the nature. Buddhya dinam swarupam yaha. Vivinakti. Satattva Vidu. So, Yaha, whoever is Buddhyadhinam, the nature of the intellect. So, in the last sloka, it says, Ka Buddhi, Koya Mabhasaha, Kova, Kovasya Matra, Jagat Katham. So, all this being asked the question, you have to inquire. That's how a student in the Viveka Chudamani goes to the teacher, Konam Abandha Katham Esha Agataha, Katham Pratishtasya Katham Vimotraha. Kosavanatma Paramahka Atma Tayo Vivekas. So he asks seven questions in that. And Krishna says, Tadvidhi Pranipatena Pariprasnena Sevaya. So you go to the teacher and ask question. Pariprasnena. Don't go there with something and ask silly questions. You have to ask what is the nature of the reality. So that has to be, without inquiring, you will be living life after life after life, same life will continue and there will not be end of this samsara. So, buddhyadhinam swarupam yaha vivinakti satattva vitu. So, one who inquires vivinakti, so who differentiates between the kutastha chaitanyam and chidabhasa chaitanyam and what is the mind, all the three, the, the OC, original consciousness and the buddhi, the matter and the reflection consciousness and the world similarly. Whoever inquires, vivinaktaha, who differentiates that, saha tattva vitu, he is the real tattva vitu, he is the knower of the truth. 
and saha eva muktaha he is the one who is really liberated iti evam in this way vedanteshu vinischeha this is what vedanta declares he is the one who is liberated or free the one who enquires into that how long i to enquire whole life you have to spend on this because you have spent enough of lives on lives in other therefore your the purpose of life is this and if this is not accomplished everything else is useless according to vedanta evam ca sati evam ca sati bandhasya evam ca sati bandhasya kasyetyaadi kutarkagnyah kasyetyaadi kutarkagnyah vidam bina dudham khandyah vidam vidam bana dudham khandyah khandanokti prakarata prakaratah khandanokti prakaratah सति बंध सैत्यादि कुतर्कजाडंबनाढ़ खंड्या खंडनोक्ति प्रकार हियर विद्यारण्य आस्ट यू नाट टू गेट इन्वाल्व इन टू आर्ग्युमेंट्स एंड बिकॉज एवं इन दिस वे सती यूजिंग एक्सेप्टेड दैट दिस इज द नेचर ऑफ बॉन्डेज बॉन्डेज इज लैक ऑफ एंक्वायरी ऑफ वॉट इज द माइंड वॉट इज द बॉडी वॉट इज द वर्ल्ड वर्ल्ड हु आर माइ एंड वॉट इज द नेचर ऑफ द वर्ल्ड वॉट इज द पर्पज ऑफ लाइफ दिस इज ऑल द बेसिक एसेंस ऑफ द लाइफ इट्स सेल्फ विदाउट एंक्वायरिंग इट एंड ऑल अदर ट्रांसक्शन बिकम मीनिंगलेस वंस यू एंक्वायर एंड वंस यू नो दैन डोंट गेट इन टू आर्ग्यूमेंट्स विद एनी बडी हियर इस इज विडंबना दृढ़म खंड्या so there is no point in getting into arguments what that's also useless only khanda nokti prakartha there is a khandana khanda kavyam essentially by the the tarka shastram ichchadi kutarka kutarka jaha these are all kutarkam is is a illogical or wrong logic to analyze the system and people argue on that on and on so don't get into arguments with anybody on this false logic vidambana so with this is called vidambana means unwise arguments and they think it is right wise and you they think that you yours is not wise so there is no point in getting into such arguments so prakarataha using methods adopted by khandya druha firmly worthy of rejection so avoid unnecessary arguments with anyone once you are convinced that this is what the the purpose of life itself that's what is the vijaranya want we give a warning here and from this 50 sloks and the three slokas she is going to quote from shiva purana where the skuta chaitanyam and sakshi chaitanyam and the world are being analyzed clearly and presented so he is going a the scriptural but from the pura pauranic statement from the vedanta he has already provided now he goes into a quotation from a shiva puranam and he is going to differentiate in that from 56 to 59 sloka three slokas or four slokas are dealing with the with the from the shiva puranam so let's read 56 vrutehe sakshitaya vrutti vrutehe sakshitaya vrutti raga bhavasya ca sthitah raga bhavasya ca sthitah bubutsayam tato gnosmi bubutsayam tato gnosmi icha bhasa gnana vastunah icha bhasa gnana vastunah so here the sakshi and kutastha jaitanyam are being analyzed in the shiva purana so vruttehe vruttehe means of all the thoughts of the thoughts cha vrutti par prag abhavasya and before the th- thought is remember thought is whenever i see an object a thought is forming so this object that object that object that object i am forming one thought one thought one thought one thought before the thought came what was there background background is is essentially illumined by sakshi chaitanyam that means praga bhava absence of the thought was there before and presence of the thought now in both there is a sakshi chaitanyam 
Why? It is illumining the absence of the thought, now illumining the presence of the thought, and in illumining the presence of the thought, it is illumining with the lighting, with using the reflected consciousness, Chidabhasa. So all this being discussed in the, is being mentioned in the, the Siva Purana here. Ruttehe of the thoughts and Ruttipag Abhavasya, the absence of the Rutti before, Prag means before Abhava, the absence of the Rutti. So now presence of the Rutti and how do we know presence of it? Because it was not there before. So ab because there is no part, I don't say part, now I say part. So how do I say part? Because I formed a, a thought about it. So thought formation of the part or a chair or a table and before that the absence of the thought that is essentially background mind. Vrttehe sachitaya vrtti prag bhavasya cha sitaha. So that is essentially what was there before. Bhubutsayam. Bhubutsayam. Bhubutsa means the desire to know. That means the 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 internal thoughts, bhubutsayam, desire to know, tata in the same way, agnyaha asmi, that is in the same way, I have the agnyaha asmi, aham agnyaha, so I am ignorant, is also another, the operation of another thought, I don't know this, I know this, I don't know this, these are all being illumined by pure consciousness, iti, abhasa agnyana vastunaha, is an experience of both ignorance and the presence of the knowledge. Both ignorance and the presence are being illumined through abhasa, by reflected consciousness. And one who is behind it has nothing to do with the knowing and unknowing. So I know that I don't know, I know that I know. I know itself, I am a knower of the known and the unknown. Known is all, all the vruttis, unknown is also ajnana, that I don't know this, I don't know this. It can be a thought or it can be absence of a particular knowledge also. Both are being illumined by the kutastha chaitanyam. That's what is being, says, that is sachi. Bhubutsayam tato tata ajnasmi ityabhasa jnana vastunaha. This is all due to the reflected consciousness of that. And that essentially expressed as that Chidabhasa is coming into this picture, but behind that, behind that there is a Kutastha Chaitanyam. That's what he's going to tell in the next sloka. This is all from the Siva Purana. Asatya Lambanatvena, Asatya Lambanatvena, Satya Sarva Jadasyatu, Satya Sarva Jadasyatu. Sadakatvena chidrupaha, Sadakatvena chidrupaha, Sada prema spadatvataha, Sada prema spadatvataha. Together, Asatya lambanatvena, Satya sarva jadasyatu, Sadakatvena chidrupaha, Sada prema spadatvataha. So, Asatya alambanatvena, Asatyam is the false. Alambanam is support and false, anything false has a support which is true. So I am seeing the snake which is false, but false snake doesn't come unless there is a real thing that is a rope. So rope becomes an adhara for the asatya. So satyam is there and asatyam is false and false has the basis for false is the truth. So false can be removed. How do you remove the false? I cannot, if I try to remove by an action, I am only giving credit to the false, reality to the false. False can only be removed by knowing that it is false. That's how the vichara is required. So asatya alambanatvena, being a support for the, the asatyam, that means for the mitya. Satya have the pure existence, sarva jadasya for all the, the whole universe of inert things and objects to sadhakatvena as it is as the existence it is ex expressing and to also in addition sadhakatvena by illuminating it 
pure consciousness, sada premaspadam. So there are two ways in which the, the consciousness is expressing itself. One is as the adhara, as a satsvarupam, the whole supporting the whole universe in the form in the satsvarupam. It says there is the chair is, table is, and and the tree is. Everything is 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 nothing but it exists. That's why it says is non-existent. We can say is. So the Gaga Bhuvu is, I cannot say, because I don't know what is Gaga Bhuvu, it exists or not. Whereas I can say whatever the object that exists. I may not know the object, but I can say, hey, this is he, this object is, but I don't know what it is. I may not have the knowledge of the object, but I can see from the point of the senses, the five, ob five the attributes of the object. And from that I can gather this is an object and that is an object. So asattva lambana tvena satyaha sarva jadasyatu. So the whole universe is being supported by the, the, the inert existence as satsvarupam. And sadhakatvena chidrupaha. And by illuminating that, how do I eliminate? Tasya basa sarva midam vibhati. By its pure consciousness illumining everything. How does it illumine? Through the jiva coming in. Because I am a conscious entity. I am the one who is seeing the world. So how do you know the world? Because I see it. So if I don't see it, what do I say? Is the world is there? I don't know. Is there a chair in the dark room? I don't know if it's there or not. So existence of the inner object can only be established by consciousness illumining the object. So illumination is required for inner thing because inner thing doesn't say I am there. The world doesn't say I am there. But I am there and I don't need a means to know. I am there, I know I am there. I don't need this illumination because I am self-illuminating. Whereas the objects are not self-illuminating, I have to illuminate. So pure consciousness only appearing as existence and that existence has to be illumined by the consciousness and that's how the consciousness also expresses here. Sadhakatvena as an illuminator, Chidrupaha, pure consciousness is there. So I am the pure consciousness. So how do I know I am that? What is the nature of that? Here it says, Sada Premaspadam Tvataha. It is of the nature of pure love. Premaspadam, pure love. So I love myself pure. I love anything else because that anything else gives me happiness. Therefore, I love this, I love this, I love this. So this is how Yajna Valkya teaches the Maitri in the Maitri Brahmana in the Brahadaranika Upanishad. So, Atmanastu Kamaya Sarvam Priyam Bhavati. Oh my dear, Hare Maitreyi, this for one's own sake everything becomes uh, lovable or for one loves anything because of for his own sake, not for the object's sake. Atmanastu Kamaya Sarvam Priyam Bhavati. So how does he love himself? That because he is a very source of happiness. So anything you love is a source of happiness. And I love myself because I am the source of happiness because happiness doesn't come anywhere from outside, it comes from me. So I love myself unconditionally, whereas I love anything else is because of conditions as long as it brings me happiness. So things I love or I like, I want, things I don't like, because they are not giving me happiness, then they come under a different list. So things I love, things I don't like, all those things come into picture where whatever gives happiness I love and whatever give my, I love myself mostly because of I am the source of happiness. And this is Sada Premaspadam Yatha. I am always the source of happiness. Therefore, that I am, which is coming from the Chidabhasa, is a source of Ananda also. Because it is pure Satchidananda getting reflected and that is why it is a source of happiness too. And in the first chapter, the Jaranya talks about the Parama, parama Premaspadam Yataha, Mana Bhuhammi Bhuyasam, Iti Prematmanuchyate, I am Atma Parananda, Par Premaspadam Yataha, Mana Bhuhammi Bhuyasam, Iti Prematmanuchyate. So I am 
Aham Atma Parananda is of the Supreme Ananda, not just regular Ananda, Supreme Ananda. That's what here says, Sada Prema Ananda. So I am Atma Pradhanam, this Atma Self that I am is of the source of Supreme Happiness. And how does it express? Mana Bhu Ammi Bhu Yasam Iti Prema Atma Yuchate. Let me not cease to exist. If something is source of happiness, I don't want to lose it. But I want to keep it as long as it is being source of happiness. I am the source of happiness all the time. And I am source of supreme happiness. Therefore, it is expresses as, therefore, I want to be there all the time. Because I am the very essence of happiness itself. So, Anandaha is the Swarupa nature of that. So, with that, we will stop and we will continue tomorrow with the 158 sloka. Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachyati Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnamiva Vasishyati Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Sri Guru Om Harihi Om